hosted a dinner party with a menu of dishes from my cookbook and this is how it all went down. I was very ambitious going into this. I think there were just so many dishes that I wanted to cook for my friends from the book that I couldn't decide and ended up doing way too much. Nevertheless, I started prepping dishes that could be made in advance like this curry, kabocha squash, and leek soup. At this point, I kind of stopped filming, but then I picked it back up in the evening where I started to prep some more ingredients like this everything bagel chili oil. And then day of, I started nice and early. I toasted some sesame seeds to prep for my dessert. This is my candied sesame bark chocolate. And then I started to slice up potatoes for one of my all-time favorite dishes from the book. This is a spicy scalloped potato. What I love about this dish is that you can make it in advance and then throw it in the oven right before you serve it. Here are some of my favorite people. And then moving on to the crispy rice salad. This I could prep a little bit in advance, but I always think it's best to dress it fresh. Next, we have cucumber sesame noodles, which are supposed to be paired with a mushroom walnut topping, but I completely forgot about that. And another standout favorite is the Taiwanese five spice popcorn tofu. After all that prep, it was time to set the table. I'm sure nobody's surprised that I went with the theme of pink and I had some help from my friends. And then I also served some mocktails from the cookbook as well as non-alcoholic sparkling wine for the table. It was such a treat cooking for people that I love. And of course we had to end off the dinner with a matcha latte.